Hi everyone, this is Lori here from Lori Hooks. Uh, it's Friday, finally. I think I say this every week, at least once, that I'm just waiting for Friday. Um, it's been a busy week, but I guess every week's a pretty busy week. Um, it's cold outside, but I hear like just watching everybody else's videos and what everybody else is saying. It sounds like it's just cold everywhere right now. Um, but it is really sunny outside, like the, the light you see today, that's natural light coming in the window. Um, so it's nice and sunny outside and it's a nice day to take a drive in the warm car and enjoy the sun. Um, it sounds really silly, but, um, that's what I do in the winter when it's too, you know, it gets too cold and too, I, and too cold to go for a walk outside. I'll I'll go for a ride in the car to get my vitamin D because it gets me out of the house and it makes me feel a little bit better. Um, hasn't snowed here in a few days, so it's probably been, what day did I shovel the driveway? I think it was Monday or Tuesday, probably Monday. I had to shovel it. It wasn't very much, but it was just enough to cover up the dirty snow because the dirty snow is all back now. So anyways, um, so what else is going on? Yeah, not too much. Um, I've had a fair bit of time most evenings, except for the evening that I was at my mother-in-law's to crochet. Um, I did have, I was trying to write a pattern. And the reason why I say was is because here's how well my pattern is going. I frogged the whole thing. I know this is kind of bad colors to to do something new in but um it's wearable and i like black so um this isn't actually black black um the label's covered but this is premier i think the speckles in it is that another ball oh i do have another one. Oh, there goes my stitch markers anyways um premier ever Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling Medley in the color charcoal. So it's not quite black. It has these uh, white or gray flecks in it. But I frog the whole thing. We'll start again when I'm not mad. And that's that for now. But I tore that out last night. So the other thing I've been working on is, um, well, we'll start with my finished object. I finished this on... Saturday. Um, when I did my video last, I was, I just, I had all the parts. I think I just had to sew it together and put the beard on. Um, and this is a lovable Valentine. I don't know. I don't know what I do with the pattern, but I believe it's called lovable Valentine gnome from summer's tips and stitches. Uh, so summer did a YouTube, a four part YouTube video for this. And I will tag her I'll tag the introduction for that below and uh, the pattern is free both in the the YouTube description and she's got the file on her Facebook page that you can download it from there but it's a well-written pattern um, and I think that it is super cute it's got these stripy legs and the stripy arms and I think that is super cute um, I don't really like making skinny Things like these arms are, are six single crochets around, and that's really small. Um, those are not my favorite thing to do. And this, the yarn that I used was Red Heart. It's got no label, but it's Red Heart. And this Craft Smart Pink. I think it's called Pink. Yeah, the Craft Smart, I think it's called Pink. Um, and then for the, for the, nose and the hands i used craft smart taupe and the gray i don't remember i don't think the gray's in here no it's not in here um but i used gray and i believe that was craft smart also for the feet and then the beard was this Bernat premium white um and these are just all 
things that I had around around in my collection. So the only thing I did different was I added these hearts to the hat because I thought the hat looked a little plain and it needs something extra. So I did them and sewed them on. Um, that Craft Smart pink isn't a good, really good option for making the hearts. They came out kind of fuzzy and not too... You know, you, you don't get good stitch definition with it. So they would have looked nicer if I had chose, chosen something else. But this is what I had out and what I was working with. But I really like him. I think the stripy legs and arms are so cute. Um, and yeah, and his beard. And um, Summer's um, YouTube tutorial, it's very good. It's very, um, you know, she complains about the same things that I complain about. And um, it was fun to watch and her instructions were very good so that was that and um later on on saturday night i realized that uh, my mother's birthday is coming soon and i wanted to make her something so um and i'm not going to try to pronounce her name i will tag her below but she's i've made a few of her other amigurumi um things before and so she doesn't have in her she doesn't have like a pattern that you can download or a pattern that you can go to her blog and get it's just as you watch the youtube video she puts in what you need to do for each step and then she shows you how to do it and her instructions are very good there's no talking in it it's just music in the background um and she uses uh fingering well it's two ply she calls it two ply cotton for her for hers and a 2.25 millimeter hook, I think it was, which I used um, for weight yarn. So mine's not gonna come out the same size. It's not gonna, I'm not using the same hook. My hooks was here. Oh, here it is. So I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook. Um, and this is my clover hook and I, I will use clovers 98% of the time I just my brain does not work today can't think of the word of clover as terrible as that is so um on Saturday night I went and dug around in my collection and I found a few things to get myself started so I I did this most of the the centerpiece on Saturday night and this is made from impeccable impeccable from Michaels and the color on this is chocolate so she has you um, complete it and stuff it and close it all up and everything. And then at the end, she has you sew the petals on. And I wasn't sure if I really wanted to do it that way. So I didn't complete it. I uh, left the back open so that I can get my fingers in there and sew the petals on afterwards. And I used from pulling from the other end, I did do the portion around the outside, which I don't remember what these were. I think they were chain six and then you connected it um, to do these around the outside and I thought it would help line up the petals so I did do that part and I had to go to Michael's to get yellow and green because I didn't have I only had like Christmas green I didn't have other colors of green so I went to Michael's and got some of this impeccable in sunny day and for the green it's again it's impeccable and it's forced um, so I started on the petals. I've got, I think, six and a half of them done. Look at them. Um, there's the half. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's only five of them done. Five and a half. And I need a total of eight petals. And then for the stem, um, you have to do this stem that's very similar to those gnome arms. Um, and I believe this is supposed to be in total something like 44 rows or 45 rows. And then it, it goes out and it attaches to the back of, of this. And um, you run a wire down the inside to hold it up. So I've done about half the stem. Um, I decided to work, I would work on it in parts and that way I don't get too annoyed with it working all at once so I think this was one of the last parts she had you do and I decided to get started on it so that I would have 
other things to work on. So when I got too annoyed with it, I could put it away and then work on other pieces for this. So then the other things you need are the dirt, which I had this one in my in my yarn collection. So this is Premier Anti-Killing Everyday in the color Bark. And this one is also Premier Anti-Killing Everyday Worsted in the color Fawn. So that's that that I've been working on. And my mom's birthday is uh, February 17th. And I usually um, go visit them for her birthday. Uh, that is when family day weekend is here in Canada. So I get an extra day off and my parents live um, about two and a half hours north of me. So I usually um, go and visit them for the weekend of my mom's birthday and hang out as long as the weather's not too bad. Um, I don't care if it's cold, it's the driving. I don't like driving when it's snowing. I try to stay home. So as long as the weather cooperates, I will deliver it a uh, family day weekend, which this year it's after her birthday, the weekend after her birthday. Um, and if the weather doesn't cooperate, then, um, you know, I'll go the weekend after that or whatever. Um, my dog is asking me to go out. Come here, Molly. You don't need to. Come here. You were just out there. Come here. And this, and Sophie's here for a pet. You can't see her very good. Um, so I have a few weeks to finish that. What else have I been working on? Molly, come here. You don't need to. She was just outside. She doesn't need to. We have a school behind our house and if the kids are outside, she wants to go outside and watch them or bark at them. And the kids, they're elementary school kids, so they don't really like to be barked at. It's usually the kindergartens go out a lot. They Okay, she's not going to stop. Just a minute. Okay, I'm back. She is, well, both of them are outside, Molly and Sophie. And hopefully there's not any barking and hopefully they don't need to come in until I'm done. Um, but we have an elementary school behind our house and the kids aren't actually outside right now. But um, the kindergarten kids, it's a little cold for them to be outside today. I think it's when I came home, my car said minus 12, which my kids are now 20 and 26. And when my kids went to the school, they still did recess outside unless it was when it got to minus 15, they got to stay in. So has to be really harsh. Now I think they take wind chill in consideration. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't home at lunchtime today, so I'm not really sure if the kids were outside, but usually the kindergartens, they'll at least go outside for 10 or 15 minutes at a time. And I think it helps break up their day and helps the teachers, you know, get some of their energy out. Um, and they have lots of stuff to play with outside. Um, but yeah, my dogs like to go outside and bark at them. Sometimes they just watch them, but if they're too close to our fence, because it's a chain link fence, they will bark at them. And the kids don't really like that, which I can't blame them. Anyways, so the other thing was, is I started on um, my Tunisian, my first square for my Tunisian blanket for uh, Jada's 2022 Cal. Um, so I've got my hook put away right now, but um, I started my first square. And again, this is Michael's Impeccable in the color Green Lagoon. It's a lot like my sweater color. Wow. Anyways, um, I started on that and I'm going to do a separate video about this because there's a whole thing to do with the hooks and getting them. And I was just going to give you some of my impressions on that. So I started on that. And then because it's my habit, every time I do something new, I make a dishcloth out of it. So I had this Bernat Handy Crafter in my collection. It's likely from Walmart because Walmart sells this and is cheap. Um, I had started a dishcloth, also Simple Stitch from uh, Jada's um, instructions. Now this one I'm using a five millimeter hook. No, a five and a half millimeter hook. And the, um, the one for Jada's calendar cow. This, it's pretty thick, the impeccable, and I decided 
to go up to a six. And again, I'm gonna talk about that more in my other video that I'm gonna do. Um, and I think that's all I've worked on this week. I did not work on any of my mosaic squares for my mosaic blanket. I didn't have any time for that. The other thing is not high on my priority list. And in truth, if it sits until the weather starts to change and it starts to get warmer, I don't mind working on the squares uh, in the, you know, when the weather's warmer because it's not like a hot big blanket. And I do have uh, two blanket whips that I need to finish that are higher priority than they are. But right now my mom's sunflower is my highest priority item. And then um, I was thinking of making another gnome from um, another one of these gnomes from Summer's Tips and Stitches. I was going to think of making a girl gnome to go with him so that there was a pair. Um, that would probably be my next priority. And then to get back out some of these old blanket whips that I have that are quite dormant and been sitting here for a while. But one of them has been hugging up a big space in my living room for quite a while. And my daughter has been using her blanket in the meantime, but it needs to get a little bit longer. And I found some more um, yarn for hers, so I need to get it out and get hers finished for her as well. And it's big. Both of them are using Bernat blankets, so they are very hot to work with. So it's definitely got to be get done while it's still cold outside. And I think that is it for now. Whether I decide to get my notebook back out, well, I still have my notebook here for my notes for that pattern that I was working on, and whether I'll decide to work on that in the next few days, we will see. Depends whether or not I'm done being mad yet. And we will go from there. So, thank you very much for coming by today and for watching my video. Um, and you all have a great day. Thank you.